Hey everyone and welcome to Organ Technology Part 6. Now in this series we're talking mostly about analog technology electronic organs but we're also talking about uh, pipe organs and pipe organ technology uh, because all of that kind of goes together when you really think about it and today we're really going to see that uh, uh, straight up because uh, we're looking at a hybrid organ in which we have a, a digital organ, a complete digital organ, and it has been interfaced with this pipe organ. And we're going to see how the relays and the interfacing between the keyboards and the pipes and the keyboards and that older analog technology kind of did a very similar similar thing. Now, I'm in the pipe chamber of a hybrid instrument. It is a very cramped and dimly lit spot, uh, spot. but we're gonna, I'm gonna grab the camera and we're gonna do some handheld shots so you can see the relay equipment and how it all goes together. And we can kind of see uh, the similar relay systems are used in older Rogers instruments. Uh, so like the Rogers Theater organs, the 340 and the 333 and the 321, the 33E um, used a similar relay system. All of their classic organs used a similar relay system. Now, I know I talk about Rogers a lot, and full disclosure, I work for Rogers. But that also means that I have more detailed information about Rogers information, about Rogers instruments, than I do about other manufacturers' instruments. So I can give you more detailed results when we talk about Rogers stuff. Now, this came together, this is a Wix unit pipe organ. We'll talk in a second about what that means. And uh, the console that was on it uh, was basically falling apart. Uh, the pipe organ itself is not very extensive. There's only five ranks of pipes. And there's, in terms of a classic instrument, there's not that much you can do with that. So we hybridized this by, we took in the stops that we could pull off of the pipe organ are played from the digital console as normal. And then that's filled in with the digital stops so we have a more complete instrument. Now let's get back to talking about how analog technology organs and unit pipe organs are kind of related. Um, basically in a unit organ, we'll quickly go through what that means, each rank of pipes does more than one thing. In classic organs, especially in the days of mechanical action, if you wanted, say, a principal chorus, you wanted the principal to speak at eight, at four octave pitch, and two super octave pitch, you had to have three separate ranks of pipes. You had a rank of 61 pipes starting at eight foot, hence eight foot, which was corresponded to concert pitch, or normal pitch that you would hear on a piano. And then, if you wanted the octave of that, well, you had to have a separate rank of 61 pipes starting at four foot. And then if you wanted the super octave, the two foot stop, you had to again have a separate rank of pipes uh, starting at two foot. So that's three sets of 61 pipes. That's a lot of pipes. Now with the advent of electric valve systems, it became possible to unify a rank. Now if you think about it, in the, in the system where you have separate ranks of pipes for each of those three pitches, you have a lot of duplications, right? Uh, the eight foot rank goes uh, eight, four, two, one, and so forth. And then you start at four foot and now you have two sets of pipes at four foot. And then when you add the two foot, when you get to two foot, you have three sets of pipes that are all duplicates. Why not take those upper pipes off the top of the four foot and two foot rank, add them to the eight foot rank. Then you have a single rank, 85 notes, and you just wire the keyboard through a relay system to the eight foot, the four foot, and the two foot. You know, the bottom 61, middle 61, and top 61. Well, that's economical. It saves you a lot of pipes, a lot of valves, a lot of support equipment, but then you have to have a relay. 
and you don't get as rich an ensemble. Now, when we look at that same issue in older Rogers analog technology organs, we have our oscillators producing the initial tone, we have our filter cards and keyers that shape that tone. From there, that's wired just like a unit pipe organ. So you have your oscillators producing a sound, you have your filter card shaping that into a principal tone, and it's 85 notes long, and so you wire the keyboard to the bottom 61, the middle 61, and the top 61 to get a principal chorus out of it. So let's take a look at the relay equipment that is used here on the unit pipe organ, and it is almost identical. It's very similar. The principle is the same for how those Rogers analog organs in the, in the 70s did the same thing with their analog uh, technology. So I'm going to grab the camera. So I think in the next video we're going to take a, a closer look at uh, some of this, this type of equipment because I can't really get that great a shot here. But here's the original relay system. The pedal keys come in here and then these are all the switches that carry the notes of the pedal board over to the various pipe sets at multiple pitches. So for example, the principal uh, speaks at uh, eight, and f uh, 8 and 4, that's here, and then the stop flute speaks at 16, 8, and 4. And so each of these switches has 32 and gates. And again, in the next episode, I'll, I'll show you how those work. And so this is the bottom 32 notes. This is the next octave up, the next octave up. We did the same thing with the principal. And then we also had a, a reed stop on the instrument as well. Then we go over to the next thing. This is the grate, which now we got 61 notes. This is where the keys would have come in. And then we have all of our stops carried off of off of the uh, unit pipe organ and then over there is the swell the upper keyboard everything coming into the same uh, system now on this type of relay we have our current coming in from the keyboards and then we have our switches carrying it out that's not enough to work the valves so we have these are driver cards they're basically amplifier circuits that boost the signal to where it will actually open the valve. Now, to hybridize this, to get this to work with the new digital organ seamlessly, well, we have these, and you can see these are kind of new. And I have one of these at home, and I can show you in the next episode in, in more detail. These are the decoder cards. And what we've done here is we get the signal from the console and then uh, it just goes in a little wire and then we have it decoded in here and so here we have the grate keys the swell keys and then we have the pedal keys and then the stop keys and so the outputs of these cards the grate output goes down to here and triggers all of these original relay switches. The swell keyboard goes over to here and triggers all of those relay switches. And then the first part of this card, let me get my other hand in there. First part of this third card is the pedal keys. And then here are, is our original stop rail decoded over to here. Now, in connecting up the pipe organ to the digital organ, I need some way to decode the information from the digital console to go out to that relay system, and that's where this device comes in, the Pipe Integration Manager. And this receives a MIDI signal that has been boosted for long distance travel and a normal MIDI signal will only go about 50 feet. 
Uh, this is a boosted MIDI signal, uh, and it will go, I think, up to 2,000 feet we can run. So if we have like a big church and we have to run a long line through a lot of conduit and a lot of twists and turns and then get into the PIM here. Now what this does is I've got the data coming in from the console and it comes in here and I've programmed, this is a, a programmable device, and I've programmed it to send specific bits of data uh, to specific positions on the decoders, which I showed you down here. So it's a simple matter of telling it, okay, I want uh, the, the great keys to end up here, I want the swell keys to end up here, I want the pedal keys to end up here, and I want the stop keys to end up there. And then I just tell the PIM which position here I want connected to which stop on the console, and voila, certain stops are pipes, other stops are digital and we have a combined instrument. And uh, you can hear this exact uh, instrument and find out more information about it uh, on the videos about uh, hybrid organs, and I'll put some links in the description. Now, in our next technology video, I have all of these individual components uh, at home as spare parts uh, and for future projects. And we'll take a more detailed look at what each of these is and how it goes together. And I'll show you how the PIM is programmed. And I can also make some diagrams and we can take a look at how, uh, the, how it all goes together. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, we'll have more information about this kind of technology uh, very soon. See you next time.